Welcome to a glance into learning analytics and today we're going to introduce the big ideas behind learning analytics and what it means for the education professional. I will admit that I am not a learning analytics professional so please don't take my word for gospel. I do however want to take what you read in the NMC Horizon report and hit the highlights. So what do you say we get started? What exactly is learning analytics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at the two words learning. One obviously is the process um, is going to have to do something with what, when, why, and or how people learn. And two, analytics, the word analysis jumps out at you when you see this word. And what do you think of when you see the word analysis? Me? I think of uh, digging in and studying the information, working to draw conclusions from what's there. So if we put the two words together, then we have a process that takes information and data and using it to draw conclusions that will help improve learning. Sounds simple enough, right? And it sounds like what we've been doing all along with data-driven decision making, right? Well, it is, but on steroids and in a way that we simple folk can work with, with maybe little or no statistical training necessary, at least for the most part. And the reference here to big data, big data is just what it sounds like, using lots and lots and lots of data to make critical decisions. So what does that mean for you and me and the kids in our schools? Okay, so tell me this. How many of you regularly use Facebook or buy products through Amazon? I know I use Facebook quite a bit, and sometimes I get pretty creeped out by the spot-on ads showing up on the side of my feed. Not sure what that bra ad is all about in this one. Oh, oh. oh. Likewise, when I go to Amazon, I can see lists of recommendations that are based on my previous purchasing and browsing history. Both of these companies are working hard to give their users a custom experience. And that's exactly the idea behind learning analytics. If we can harness the data from, say, an iPad app, online learning management system, etc., etc., and use it to create truly individualized learning in a real-time setting. Oh, wow, the possibilities. I mean, isn't, the, isn't this the entire idea for the data-driven decision-making model being preached to schools around the country? I mean, the problem has been in the time and expertise required to collect and analyze that data. Using our standardized test scores to make formative assessment decisions is basically, excuse me, virtually impossible because we don't get the results until the students have left our classrooms. And by then, it's a moot point. True formative assessment and evaluation takes place while the learning experience is happening. And really, that's what is so exciting about learning analytics. And it's kind of funny to think of anything dealing with analyzing data as, ex as exciting, isn't it? But just think of the possibilities. Okay, so maybe not right this minute, but if you want to hit pause, take a few moments to jot down the ideas in your head, feel free. You know what, my mind is just literally racing with thoughts of how we kind of already use learning analytics. Think of your classroom response systems, your clickers, to make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. Then I start thinking bigger, and I get excited to think that in a few years, my son, who struggles with taking tests in math, may be able to work on a computer application that recognizes that difficulty and tailors what he's doing in that moment to help improve that individual weakness. And do you know what that will do for the teacher? But don't think for a moment that it's going to eliminate the need for good teachers. I don't think that for a minute. Instead, Think of the time it will free up for teachers to be true facilitators of student learning. You know, now teachers will have help figure out ways to best reach each student. Maybe we'll quit teaching to the middle 
and teach everybody instead. Perhaps the use of learning analytics will help us move toward a model of teaching that allows more thinking to take place and gets kids to really take ownership of their learning. I mean, these are just my thoughts. I don't know what's on the horizon. I just know there are some incredible possibilities. But I'm not a Pollyanna either. I also recognize there are some valid reasons for concern. And the biggest has to do with the safety of student information. So even though we don't know the answer yet, we do know that learning analytics has the potential to help us make decisions using real-time data so that instruction can be individualized. I say let's keep our eye on this one.